All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, Wawar Chakwadash, which Yahweh, this Heavenly Father's true name, Yahweh Shai, this whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name, and Rachakwadash, that's the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in all truth and in all sincerity. And I just want to get into a quick lesson. As you see in the title, it's uh, what's the point of holding on to this place? All right. And, uh, you know, you have guys out there. All right. Who um, I'll say this, you know, for lack of words, you know, uh, losing faith, you know, getting impatient. OK. And. Um, you know pretty much i guess you could say going back into this world all right you know and you know my question to you know people who are you know losing that strength and all that are losing the faith what's the point of going back into this world okay and holding on to it all right why hold on to a place that is destined to be destroyed that is polluted as a uh, uh, micah 2 and 10 says all right a place that that, that is um engulfed in wickedness all right a place that's not our kingdom what is the point of holding on to it all right you know that's something that you got to ask yourself what uh do you want your you know family do you want your name in this world the reputation okay what are you are you tired of putting in that work being that that that, that living sacrifice okay as the scriptures talk about are you tired of that you know so you you're telling me you want to trade it all in right you want that corruptible crown instead of the incorruptible crown as the scriptures talk about you know that that's complete madness but hey you got you know particular guys out there who are dropping the plow and throwing it you know throwing the towel man okay they see you know but for those guys what happened uh, is is they didn't count the cost okay they didn't count the cost all right you know they, they you know they basically they um as the scriptures talk about you know they, 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 you know, they ate the roll, all right? It was, you know, sweet as honey, all right? But what happened over time was that bitterness, okay, you know, started, you know, affecting them, you know, because when it was, as the scriptures say, you know, when it went down in my, you know, my belly became bitter. See, a lot of guys, that they're, they're tired of dealing with the affliction, okay? They're tired of dealing with the, you know, um, the trials, the tribulations, okay? They're tired of, you know, uh, you know uh, being patient. So that's why they fall out. And ultimately, we all know that the reason why that's happened is because the Lord, he's the one who, who has set this thing up, okay? All right? Certain guys, they're meant to be called, but they're not meant to be chosen, okay? All right? But, you know, hey, still, you know, got to, you know, ask that question. What's the point of holding on, all right? And let's get this uh, scripture right here. Let's start off with this in the, uh, in the book of... Um, first corinthians okay start off in first corinthians because the scriptures say that um that this world okay it's bypassing all right this you know present evil world is bypassing as we speak okay give me one moment to find it. i think it's actually in second corinthians hold on <laughs> of course now i can't find it but you know as you know we all know the scripture and um the book of Corinthians it says you know that this world it, it, it passes the way okay and when you go into that word that that word uh, uh passes the way it goes into a uh, basically you know the the, the 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 habitation you know the things that are in here okay you know the ideologies it's all gonna go it's not gonna stay man all right the Lord he, he's gonna utterly destroy the things that are exalted in this world all right and it, and it has to be done these things have to be done because look, look, look at what this world has produced, okay? Since its inception, all right? Nothing but uh, uh, wickedness, okay? You know, nothing but, uh, um, you know, evils, okay? Th th this place ha it has got to go, man, all right? And I don't know why I can't find it. I know it's in Corinthians. I thought it was the seventh chapter. Oh, yeah, it's right here. It's a lucky. I was reading that wrong. Um, this is uh, 1 Corinthians 7 and... Um, Let's start at, um, let's 
Now let's get to the point. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 7 and 31. It says, And they that use this world as not abusing it, for the fashion of this world passeth away. Okay? So there's nothing wrong with using the world, okay? Hey, if you're um, able to start a business, you know, hey, go do that thing. If you're able to get a promotion at the job, you know, get it. All right, there's nothing wrong with that. Hey, if you're able to get, you know, maybe a loan, grant, whatever assistance that the government's giving out here, hey, take that, okay? All right, do what you got to do to survive in this world, but don't abuse it. Don't, you know, get engulfed with, with this world, okay? Because this world is, is, as the scriptures said here, it, it says, the, for the fashion of this world passed away. It's going to be destroyed, man. This place has a, um, you know, it, it's destined to, you know, to, to end at some point. All right, it has an expiration date. Remember that it has an expiration date, and it's gonna uh, 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 once the expiration date hits, this place is over with. The, this place can't, you know, you know, um, pass its bounds. All right, as the scriptures talk about, it cannot. All right, you see, you know. So what is the point of holding on? Let, let's get that Second Peter's. All right, and these are just basic milk scriptures. Basic milk script uh, scriptures. Let's get it though. This is uh Second Peter chapter three, and um, we'll start at um, we'll start at seven. This is Second Peter chapter three verse seven. It says, "But the heavens and the earth, which are now, by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire, against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men." So they. And that day of fire is coming, all right? Hey, once those thermonuclear missiles hit, hey, once the chariots of the Lord, all right, shoot out them uh, uh, laser beams, okay? This whole uh, uh, place is going to be wiped away. In particular, America, man. It's going to be a, a damn desert very soon, okay? It's going to be a desert because the Lord is going to get rid of this wicked world, all right? Then other parts are going to get, you know, uh, 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 Damn, what the hell was that? That was bugged out. But um, but other parts of the world are gonna get hit too, man. You know, such as the state of Israel, okay? Such as uh, 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 parts of Russia, uh, uh, Europe, okay? I believe China's gonna get hit. You know, things, you know, places like that. They're, they're gonna get hit too, man. Cause hey, the scriptures talk about what? This world is gonna reel to and fro, this earth. And how is that gonna happen? When those missiles hit, when they're getting, when, when the missiles are hitting all over, all right, the entire world, all right? That's gonna make this place, you know, get rocked, man. It's gonna shake the whole world, all right? You see, so that's what's coming. And I gotta ask that question again. What's the point of holding on to this world then? If we know these things are, are gonna happen, what is the point of holding on to this place, man? There's nothing here, man. It's all tainted. See, I, I, you know, my, myself and I, and the brothers out there with the like, they have the like, uh, the same um, mindset. They are like-minded. They, 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 they want a pure uh, earth, man. They want to get out of this, you know, this body. All right. They, they, they want to get out of this wicked place. They want something new that's refreshed. Okay, that's what we're looking for. The hell with this place. Let me keep reading though. Um, back in Second Peter's three and eight. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. That one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. Okay, so you got to remember this too, okay? That things may seem like they're not um, moving quickly sometimes, all right? But you got to remember that a thousand years for us is only a day to, uh, to the Lord, all right? Remember that. You always have to have that in your mind that the Lord's time is different. So sometimes it may seem like it's dragging. But in reality, it's not. It's really not. It's actually going fast. Once you think about how, how the, 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 the heavenly time frame works, okay? You have to be patient, though. You have to be. Okay, and this is a part of our uh, um, our affliction. This is a part of our punishment. Hey, this is a part of our um, our lot, as the scriptures talk about in 2nd Ezra. This is what we have to go through as a people, okay? In order to get um, the uh, the promises, the inheritance that the Lord had, uh, you know, has um in store for us okay read that in second uh, uh ezra's the seventh chapter all right it tells you that all right this is what we have to go through as a nation 
all right let them keep reading this is second Peter 3 and 9 the Lord is not slack concerning his promise so remember that he's not slack as some men count slackness see some men are gonna count that as slackness all right because they want it done on their time and look the Lord doesn't have to do anything on your goddamn time man this is the Lord's movie all right this is the Lord's movie it says but it is but is long suffering toward usward not willing that any should perish but that all should come to repentance okay so the Lord ultimately really wants the, the nation of Israel to 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 repent all right but not but, but we know that only the elect is gonna do that two-thirds are gonna um wither away you know be rebellious and die all right that that's their uh that's their story okay that's the role that they have in this movie okay verse 10 but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up you see everything's gonna get burnt up man the works that are therein everything all right from these buildings all right the trees the uh you know the, the rivers okay to the ideologies it's all gonna go man at some point you see it's all gonna go all right verse 11 and it reads here seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness okay so if we know these things are coming what kind of person should we be what should be our conduct man all right we have to have a holy uh, uh which means separate you know uh, 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 conduct okay because that word conversation goes into your conduct all right not just what you're talking about but how, but, but how you move in this world okay you have to have a whole completely different walk than the rest of these people all right you know first and foremost you how about shimmy should see that and also i'll say this these people in this world they should know that there's something different about you okay that you're not the same as them see these people they're they're, they're um they put their um all their uh, 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 their 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 money, so to speak, their hopes into this place. All right, look, we haven't. Hey, we're we're like a poker player. We're going all in with the Lord, man. That's what we're doing. All right, that's what we're doing. You know, and hey, we're waiting to to cash out on our investment, which is going to hit really soon, man. we hey, that investment that that we've uh, uh you know that, that that we've been waiting on. It's about to hit soon, man. Okay. See, because this world, it's about to crumble. While everyone else is, is, is getting hit with all these plagues, all right? From the famines, to the cannibalism, to the rape, robberies, murders, the, the home invasions, all right? To, 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 to the diseases, all right? You know, ultimately to those thermonuclear missiles, that's what they're going to get. That, you know, that, that, that's what they're going to get while we're going to get what? Protection, salvation, all right? Glory, dominion, that's what's coming for us, man, all right? Lord willing, we're a part of that number. All right, Lord, uh, Lord willing. But in order to obtain, you know, the things that I just said, what do you have to do? You gotta uh, um, make your body a living sacrifice. All right, you have to separate yourself from this present evil world. Okay, you can't be attached unto it. All right, you gotta put in that work. All right, because as the scriptures say, what in the book of James, if you have faith, you have to do what? Uh, you gotta show it by what? Your works. Okay. Which means you're gonna have to uh, uh, follow the law, statutes, and commandments. Have a completely different change in your life. All right, yeah, you, you, your life has to change 180. Okay, you 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 gotta uh, 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 go out there on the highways and byways and teach. All right, if that's your light, I'll say that. And, you know, if you're a prophet, all right. But regardless, hey, if even if you're not a prophet, if, if you're a believer, you still gotta follow the law, statutes, and commandments. All right, and hey, you gotta have that charity amongst the brethren, amongst the body. All right, whether it be you helping uh, a brother out, you know, maybe, you know, with moving or maybe helping him out if his car broke down, maybe helping him out a little financially. Hey, sometimes you got to, you know, hey, be that brother where, um, you know, uh, uh, basically, you you know, you listen to a brother, right? You know, when he's venting, you know, there's different ways of charity, man. All right. Hey, breaking scriptures down, teaching, you know, that that's all a part of the works, man. Praying, fasting, etc. If, but if you don't do those things, guess what? You came empty-handed to, to the Lord. And look, the Lord is not dealing with somebody that's going to come to the altar empty-handed, man. All right? You have to present something to Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shai. All right? 
We're all uh, 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 putting up sacrifices right now as we speak. So what is your sacrifice? That's something that you got to ask yourself. What is your sacrifice? All right. Now let me keep reading. Let me go back to the second Peter. Second Peter chapter 3 and 12. Looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of the Most High Yahweh, which that's what we're doing right now because we want to get the hell out of here, man. We don't want, you know, this place to last another damn second, man. It says, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth where wherein dwelleth righteousness. Okay, and that's what we're uh, looking for. A new heaven and a new earth. Okay, a new rulership and a refreshed earth. All right, that's what we're looking for. I don't know what, 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 what you know, the rest of these guys are, you know, looking for you know those that are in the truth because that's crazy man why wouldn't you want something you know you know where it's you know pure i don't understand why you you, you don't want something um where all righteousness and all godliness dwells in you know what i mean where all good things dwells the scriptures say salaki that's how it's worded i don't understand why you don't want that isn't that uh, wor worth fighting for Like, this place sucks, man. I don't get why the hell Jake gets so caught up in this place. What, you're going to go to a goddamn bar, all right, with a bunch of losers? Well, you go talk to a whore that's been used and abused or something? What, 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 kick it with your, you know, your family that's that's polluted in the mind? You kick it with them for an hour or two, next thing you know, they're, they're, they're eating a goddamn pork chop sandwich, man, all right? Or some damn catfish or shrimp. They're, 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 that's what they're into, man. Or, or, or you know, they're about to go smoke a blunt. You'll be at a goddamn funeral. The second you get out the funeral, all of a sudden one of your cousins are smoking a blunt, man. Because that's that literally happened to me, man. One of my cousins died, and one of my my other cousins were sitting and at the end of the funeral. We're walking out, you know, going back to our cars, and, and uh, 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 like two, three of my cousins. Are in the cut smoking a blunt, man. No, actually, no. They weren't in the cut. They were damn near in front of the goddamn uh, a funeral home smoking that, you know, smoking the blunt, man. That that, that that's what you want. It's crazy, man. This place is is is, is polluted. It's through, man. It's this. I gotta say it like this. This shit is fucking played out, man. Wickedness is fucking played out, man. All right. This place has got to be destroyed. It's got to be fucking destroyed, man. With that being said, why hold on to this wicked, evil world? But see, hey, if you are of this world, then you're going to love this world, man. All right? But see, we're not supposed to love this world because according to 1 John, let's get it real quick. Let's get 1 John 2 and 15. This is 1 John 2 and 15. It reads here, love not the world, okay? We're not supposed to love this world. Neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Okay, so if you love the world, the love of the Father is not uh, in you. That's why you can't be attached uh, 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 to this place. All right? It says, verse 16, for all that is in the world. Okay, this is what's in the world. The lust of the flesh. Okay, the lust of the eyes and the pride of life. That's what's in this place. Things that cater to your flesh, carnal things. And we know, as it says here, let's get it real quick. To be what? Carnally minded is death. All right? It's going to lead to a death style. Because you're going to uh, do something that's going to make you sin. And, and, and we know that the wages of sin is what? Death. So, dude, that's all this place promotes is death, man. All right? Death, death, and some more death. What kind of death do you want today? That's all this place promotes. It doesn't promote life. You know what promotes life? You how about Shemiah Shah? All right? The law, statutes, and commandments. That, that, that's what promotes life. Not this goddamn place, man. This is Romans 8 and uh, let's get it. Romans 8 and um you know, let's start at um let's start at 5. This is Romans 8 and 5. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. Alright? And, and hey, that's two thirds. And I'll say this, hey, there's two thirds that are so-called in the truth, man. Alright. As I uh, stated and uh, mentioned earlier, the scriptures say what many are called, few are chosen. All right. 
So you're gonna have uh, guys that are amongst you, all right? They'll they'll even be you know fighting with you for years, okay? They'll be you know breaking bread with you. Hey, you you may have uh, you know love for that brother too, man. A lot of love, and then out of nowhere they just fall. They just get you know caught up in the you know uh, in this world, and you'll and then you'll be like, damn, how did that happen? Hey, but ultimately hey, the Lord didn't want them. And he allowed them to uh, um, go after their flesh, man, after their lust, okay? Let me keep reading. Um, that's a scary thing, man. That's why we got to uh, remain humble and pray that the Lord take not our, uh, the Holy Spirit from us. As the scriptures say in the, the book of Psalms, the 51st chapter. That's why there should be no room for pride in this thing. Why is earth and ashes proud? As Sirach says, why is earth and ashes proud? None of us should be prideful in this thing. And then once that you know that pride starts, because it happens from time to time, that pride, you know, it starts seeping in, in into you, so to speak. You got to check that real quick, man, real fucking quick. All right. But let me uh, keep reading. Um, Romans eight and five: For they that are after the flesh do mind things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things after the things of the spirit. And that's what we want to do. Okay, we want to go after the spirit. Okay. Verse six. It says here. For to be carnally minded is death. You see, to be carnally minded is death. Okay, and that's something that we don't want. It says, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. See, you got to be spiritually minded in this thing. All right? And what is the spirit? Go read John 6 and 63. It's this word. So whatever is contained in this word, that's the spirit. So you better do what's <laughs> what's uh, uh in this word here in the Bible, all right? Apply the things that are written, all right, to the best of your ability. Of course, we're going to fall, come short. But you got to do it to the best of your ability. You got to try your hardest, all right, to follow these scriptures to the T, all right? But let's go back to that um, John, uh, uh, First John, chapter 2. I'm going to read 16 again. This is, uh, I'll have to read 15 again. This is uh, First John 2 and 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. It says, and the world passeth away. You see, the world's uh, going to pass away. And what world is that? Esau, Edom's world. This present evil world that we're in right now. Okay? It's going to pass away. Okay? And the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of the Most High Yahweh abideth forever. Okay? Because look, if you're attached unto this world, you're going to get cut off, man. The Lord's going to uh, sever you, man. All right? Now, are you? do you want to be atta uh, attached to Yahweh Bashem Yahshai? Or do you want to be severed off, man? Okay? <laughs> you know? And I'll say this. Look, the Lord, he, He's going to uh, uh, force the elect to completely cleave unto Him. One way or another, and see in the in the two thirds, man, they, the, the the wicked of this world, they're gonna get severed off. The Lord, the Lord's not dealing with them, all right, and He's gonna give them terrible deaths, all right, terrible, terrible deaths. Hey, uh, many plagues and many miseries are coming to this world, all right. And if you want to uh, avoid, you know, those plagues and those miseries, you better follow your Bashem Al Shai or die, man. That's it, all right. But that's pretty much it, you know. I'm gonna um. Stop this lesson. I'm going to get back to work in a moment. But uh, hopefully this was an edifying one. And, um, you know, as always, you know, we're, before we end off, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. All right. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom. All right. And stay strong, Akim.